Hi, welcome to this video. This video is part one of a two-part series about creating text boxes in GIMP. In it, you will learn the basic features of creating a text box in GIMP. In this video, you will learn the following skills. How to create a basic text box in GIMP. How to change the font size in GIMP. How to bold the font size in GIMP. How to italicize the font in GIMP. How to underline the font in GIMP. How to strike out the font in GIMP. If you have not already done so, please pause this video now and download GIMP. This video is designed to allow you to follow along the steps of the video and do each step step by step. However, if you have not already downloaded GIMP, please pause the video and go do so now. Also, if you have not already downloaded an image you would like to add text boxes to, please pause this video, download an image, and save it into a file on your computer. Once you have completed those tasks, you are ready to continue on with the video. Alright, now that you have your image and GIMP on your computer, the next thing you will do is open up GIMP. As you can see, I have already opened up the GIMP file on my computer. What you will do once you have opened up the GIMP file, the first step is to insert the image into the GIMP program. So what you will do, you will take your clicker and you will come over to the file button. You will click on the file button and you will get a drop down menu and you will scroll down to the button that says open. You click on the open button and this will take you to the page where you decide what image you would like to upload. This is where it's a good idea when you are saving your image to label it as a file that you will be able to easily identify. When you find the file that you'd like to open, click on it so that it turns blue, and then take your cursor and click on the open button. Click on it, and this will upload the image into the GIMP file. Now that your image is uploading into GIMP, the next thing you will do is add the text box. In order to add a text box to GIMP, you will take your cursor and you will come up to the toolbar. Click on the toolbar and scroll down to the symbol of the giant A with the word text next to it. Click on the box and then you will take your cursor to the selection of the image that you would like the text box to be on and just draw not a text box as you would in any standard feature. However, one of the things that you do need to remember with GIMP, in order to create a text box, you can only create a text box on the image. Unlike programs in Escape or other such programs, the text box cannot be placed on the side, but only on top of the image. So do keep that in mind as you're planning your design. Once the text box is drawn, take your cursor and click inside the text box and then you will be able to type your text as you would like. Once the text is typed, you are able to move it around by clicking the enter button to move it up or down, and you can also tab or hit the space bar to move it where you would like it in the middle of your page. This completes the first objective of the video, and you now know how to add a basic text box into GIMP. The next step we will do, we will learn how to manipulate the font size in GIMP. In order to change the font size, you will highlight the text you would like to change, and you will take your cursor up to the little drop-down menu at the top, and you will click on the numbers, the little arrows with the numbers, they either go up or down, and you can enlarge the font, or you can decrease the font size so that it achieves your desired level. So this fulfills the second objective of the video, and you now know how to move, manipulate the font size in GIMP. The next thing we will learn how to do is how to bold the text. In order to bold the text in GIMP, you will highlight the portion of the text you wish to be bolded. Then you will take your cursor, and you will go up to this little toolbar 
above that hovers above the text box anytime you click on it and you will click on this letter A that says bold in the little caption. One of the things with GIMP, it is a little bit difficult to tell from the images what each image does, so it is essential that you go ahead and read the little tag that accompanies the bar. You will click on the, the big letter A that says bold, and GIMP will automatically apply the feature to the text you have chosen. This completes the second objective. You now know how to bold the font in GIMP. The next step you will learn is how to italicize the font in GIMP. To italicize the font in GIMP, you will highlight the text you would like to be italicized, and then you will click on the button beside the bold. It also has a drop-down letter that says italic. You can kind of see that it is an A that is italicized. It's a little hard to tell, but you will click on that button, and the font will be italicized. The next objective you will learn is how to underline text in GIMP. In order to underline text, you will highlight the portion of the text you would like underlined, then you will take your cursor, and you will go up to the little button that is next to the italic button, and you will click on the one that has a little under thing that says underline. Click on that, and your font will be underlined. This object completes the next objective of this video. This is how you underline font in GIMP. The next objective we will do is how to strike out a word in GIMP in a text box. In order to do this, you will highlight the text in question and you will take your cursor up to the letter that has a strike frame. This one is extremely difficult to see, so you just have to kind of know where it is so you will click on the strike out button and the text will be striked out. This is how you complete a basic strike out in GIMP. Now this completes all of the objectives for this video. For more information about how to manipulate text boxes in GIMP, please see my next vet, part two, advanced text box features in GIMP. Thank you for your time and have a beautiful day. This video is brought to you by the Professional Writing Club. For more information, follow us on Twitter at PWClub at UAB and like us on Facebook at Professional Writing Club at UAB.